I really got into HIV by chance because I was a young intern and I happened to see the first person with acute HIV infection. And this was in 1981, before the virus was even discovered. I was interested in infectious diseases and I basically stayed in the field for over 40 years. I just thought as a young resident at the beginning of the epidemic, so we have no choice, he was passionate, we have everything to do. At the beginning it was very complicated. No one uh, wanted to uh, be devoted to HIV because there was nothing to, to do and uh, the patients uh, were uh, uh, going to die. So uh, that, that was a terrible situation. Over the years, uh, I was able to see the heart, the so-called heart, highly active antiretroviral therapy, and how uh, patients close uh, to death were able to come to life and to uh, recover health. There were a lot of uh, problems with uh, toxicities, but it was rewarding. I realized at this time that this was a field of medicine where you know clinicians came together with clinical scientists, together with academia and the community um, to lobby politicians to increase funding for research and clinical care and lobby the pharmaceutical industry to try and, and uh, accelerate discovery of new therapeutics uh, to push for a better life for um, our patients living with HIV. I think if I need to pick out one thing which I have found very special over the course of the years is the close collaboration and involvement with community, with affected communities, and really developing the research jointly and always learning and picking out something new from the insights of people within the community. Of course, you know, in 2023, we have antiretroviral therapy that's highly effective and easy to take with um, little toxicity. We have pre-exposure prophylaxis, we have post-exposure prophylaxis, and we have testing available for a large number of people. Antiretroviral therapy has transformed HIV from a deadly disease into a manageable condition. Secondly, uh, advances in uh, HIV prevention strategies. Now, although the situation seems to be uh, more controlled, other problems that were in second line are more apparent. Those are stigma, discrimination, quality of life, mental health issues, and all those are the real ch challenges uh, today. So for me, it has been uh, a challenge, scientific, clinical, international, and uh, human rights challenge. And this is why I would say I never be annoyed being on A on HIV. Overall, what um, I find most fascinating is a combination of scientific innovation in HIV field, global collaboration, and resilience, advocacy, and power of the communities. It is important that we continue to educate the next generation of clinicians and scientists and collaborate with our community partners there is a new generation which is maintaining the interest in being in the HIV field and carrying the torch. So that to people, a person like myself who is getting older, it's really very uh, gratifying to see that that is happening because it's necessary. There are still many fields to cover. The woman, the sexual health, many population discarded from the roots. So, my message to the young is just go for HIV and fight for HIV and sexual health.